uh, two nights at 80 mile beach done. It's only about 115-ish k's to Cape Corrigan, uh National Park camping, so t two nights there. Pulled over at Pardu Roadhouse. We're gonna get some firewood from nearby. setting up. Here's our view. Most of the Cape I suppose. There's a couple of vans up that way further. Tide's gone out so much since we got here. This was all, the tide was all up in here. It's still all wet. Yet now it's way out there. There's a ladybug. A ladybug? Yeah. Made it down. There's all these weird looking barnacle things. Where are they? Like that. He's a hairy crab. He's a fuzzy crab. Oh, oh bye bye. There he goes. We asked all the guys out here what they're doing and they're trying to find octopus with their, they've got like a long uh, metal rod and they're like digging up in, in amongst all the rocks and stuff and then they use them for bait. But then they said, be careful because there's blue ringed octopus in here that are deadly as well. So we found a little pool to splash around in. What have you got? I got a clam, I found it. I found this really cool looking snail shell. It's all empty. Oh yeah, Andy found. Oh, that's pretty. Some damper. It's done. He's always cooking hers. Get down low so it's nice and level. Tony spent the one night here because we got here so early yesterday. We spent all day exploring and uh, catching up on work and schoolwork and everything. Not sure how much you heard because it's quite windy out there, um, but we're going to head into Port Headland and see if we can have a look around. There's like a salt mine or something there, maybe, possibly some fishing. On the way out, we thought we'd check in at the beach side. This is like a little creek that comes all the way in from the beach. Walk down and have a look. You can also camp here. You can camp anywhere, just pull up and, and pay really.
We're at Port Headland. Stopped at it's a 72 hour free camp next to the turf club, the racing club. So we're going to unhitch here and probably go to a laundromat, I think, and go and check out Port Headland. Here's the port down at Port Headland. It's one of the world's largest bulk exporters. Look at all the ships out there. Having to play at the BHP sponsored playground. BHP I think owns half the town. <laughs> optional beach. We're going to Pretty Pools which is here. Trying to walk over to the actual ocean, but it's a fair hike. We've already walked from over there. It's almost dead low tide. And we've come to realize that Port Headland is obviously a mining town because there's not really any tourists around, no senior citizens touring, no like random people or school kids out or anything like that. I think most of them are just mine workers, so during the day it's pretty quiet. Here's a snail fighting his way upstream, and there's a crab in that one trying to do the same thing. They're still walking and walking. Where are they? Way out there. Stopped in at the lookout on the rail bridge, uh, just heading into Port Headland to have a look at the salt farm, I'm not sure what you call it, salt flats. So the camp here is a little bit different to last night. Last night we had no neighbours and now we've got all the neighbours. We left Port Headland and it's... This, this was in my foot. You can't even see it. Numerous prickles and drove, I think it was like 200 and something k's to the Ozkey Roadhouse, I think it's called. We're just staying here for a night. It's not far from uh, Karajini, which we'll go into tomorrow because we've got Dale's campground booked for four nights. We're just going out to have a look at all these massive road trains. There's lots of mines around here, so... 90% of the vehicles we passed on the road were mine workers and trucks. There's Karajini in that way. Here's the service station. We saw this truck from the caravan window and they want to have a look at it. dinner meatball subs and we're gonna have some sticky date pudding and custard for dessert you don't have custard mummy and i are <laughs> no, we are for dinner mm -hmm.